Hi, welcome back to Evolution of a Beach Body Coach. This is Chapter 4, and I'm Leanne. And when we left off with Chapter 3, I told you that the year 2006 was very significant. And since I don't want each one of these chapters to be, you know, long and drawn out, I am going to pretty much keep Chapter 4 to the year 2006 because it was so significant to where I am today. Um, so basically the year 2006 did not start off great. Um, a very dear friend passed away in January um, of cancer and it was it was heartbreaking because he he wasn't he wasn't that old and it really made me think, wow, you know, it could happen to any of us at, at any time. And um, so going forward in um, February, I had gone for my, you know, regular yearly female appointment. And um, about, oh, I don't know, 20 days or so after my appointment, I get a phone call saying, um, that they'd like me to come back in, that there was some irregularity and they just want to retest. And I was like, okay. And for whatever reason, I couldn't get in until like April. I don't know, either I put it off or I'm not sure what happened. But I went back and they did a, a little more than the last time. And then I got word from my doctor that um, they called it dysplasia and they were going to do a procedure called a leap and it was just a little biopsy and that should take care of it and all would be good. So June 6th, I went in for that procedure, you know, thinking no big deal. Um, I'd had something like this, you know, like 10 years earlier. It's like, yeah, you know, cool, whatever. And, um, so I went about my business and, you know, they said, oh, if there's, we'll let you know if there's anything. And, and so uh, on the 15th of June, it was the last day of school. Um, I'm a, a aide in the, at, at a school and I was having some complications actually from the, the LEAP procedure. And so I called the advice nurse just to ask some questions and while I had her on the phone I said oh by the way have they gotten the results back from the procedure and she's like well I can't discuss that with you over the phone but I'll have your doctor give you a call and I was like oh okay and I hung up and I just felt kind of uneasy about that it, it's like hmm okay but I thought, well, no, that's just you know that's just procedure and and you know the nurses can't do that so it couldn't have been more than 20 minutes and my phone rang and I answered it and it was my doctor and he says I don't know how to say this except to say it I'm really sorry but you have cancer needless to say dead silence for a moment and I'm like uh, uh okay and and I know he went on to tell me a whole lot of other things. I, I, I heard oncologist and hysterectomy and we'll get you scheduled. And all I heard was cancer. And uh, so that was, that was a life-changing moment. Um, my kids were, you know, pretty young. My son was in fifth grade, my daughter was, well, they were just ending fifth and seventh grade, and I remember that afternoon getting them together at the park and saying, telling them this, and I remember my son just, the only thing he asked was, Mom, are you going to die? And I was like, I'm not planning on it. <laughs> That's all I knew at that point in time. Um... So that was on the 15th of June and um, 
you know, there's procedures and phone calls and, and things. And, and I had a trip planned and I called and I'm like, is it okay? Can I go in there? Yeah. They're like, yes, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, so, you know, the family and I ended up, uh, we were going down to celebrate my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. And, and, um, and then we came back and, um, the, it was now the 30th of June. And that morning I had an appointment with my oncologist. We went in, we talked about what we were going to be doing. They scheduled surgery for me on the 10th of July and the outcome looked really, really good. Um, and, and so my husband and I were, you know, feeling pretty upbeat after leaving that, um, appointment. And I remember calling my best friend who lived in Washington, who lives in Washington and, you know, telling her, um, about the good news. And then while in the middle of that phone call, I, my, you know, call waiting beeps and I, I ring over to it and you know, I didn't think things could get worse. But that phone call was just another thing that just changed everything. And what this phone call was, was to inform my husband and I and our, our children that his mother had been in a small plane crash, a private plane crash, and um, had passed away. And... Uh, it was, it was devastating. It was unreal. It was surreal. It was like, how could this be any worse? And I'll tell you, and if you want to just add salt to the wound, my husband broke his arm the same day. <laughs> yeah. So, um, unfortunately that, you know, I was going to have surgery and my husband had to be back in Iowa to take care of his mother's affairs. Um, so my parents came and took care of me. So that pretty much got us to, you know, here I was July 10th, had surgery. I came home four days later. Everything looked good. The prognosis was really good. Um, they just had to wait for pathology to see if I was going to have to do radiation or chemo. And by the grace of God, everything was caught early and I didn't have to. But I had six weeks of recovery which meant no exercising and not really doing a whole lot. And I had the most amazing friends and neighbors and they made meals for my family and they brought them and they, they brought us things and they, they, they took my children places for me. And, and it was such a blessing. Um, but when you can't exercise and you're eating food that you didn't necessarily prepare for yourself, can take its toll on the waistline. And by the time the six weeks was over and I was going back to work um, in the fall, uh, I had gained about 25 pounds. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was hard. It was hard to be back there again. But I had to take a step back and say, but you're alive and you're healthy and that and um, the cancer is out of your body and 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 you're gonna be okay um, and uh, and you know I was okay I was heavier than I wanted to be and I was definitely out of shape um, you know things felt like they'd atrophied because I had been active and now I hadn't been for six weeks. And so it was, it was really hard to be there again. But I went back to work and I started, you know, getting back into more of a routine and, um, you know, just, I took it easy. And, and just tried to start eating a little better and and getting a little more movement in. And and I did that and you know and I had the holidays coming and, and, and worked through that. And and then by the the end of, of that 
that year, you know, at the end of 2006, I had made, you know, another resolution that 2007 was going to be so much better and I was going to, you know, embark on a new path to really, you know, get myself back in shape. And, and so 2006 was critical. It was a turning point because in addition to the, the tragedy and the cancer, you know, the cancer um, did one other thing for me, which was I was put in early menopause. And um, on the advice of my oncologist, I went on um, a hormone patch to, um, you know, stave off a lot of the symptoms that you would normally get and to um, help keep my bones and heart healthier um, because I was so much younger than, you know, someone who would normally be going through menopause. And that, what I came to realize is that suddenly my body was not the same body and it was not working the way it had, not to mention the fact that I turned 40 in September of 2006. And so here I was, 40, on hormones, out of shape, overweight, and it was, it was a new beginning. It was like everything I had done all the years prior I, I almost had to like put it all aside and start anew as if I had never ever done any of this before. So that's 2006 and um, you know nothing to feel sorry about. I, all of these things have shaped me into who I am today and um, you know I, I've become stronger because of it. So stay tuned. Uh, chapter 5 will be um, coming soon and will be about how I tackled this new me. Till next time, see ya.